<laughs> Sorry. Hi, hi, folks. Happy welcome to the Freakers. Friday the thirteenth, full moon, uh, harvest moon, uh, Freakers ball, right here live on RealLibertyMedia dot com on this Friday the thirteenth, September thirteenth, two thousand nineteen. Yeah, I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, welcome to everybody out there that, uh, am I, oh, oh, I forgot to change, got to change my camera back. <laughs> I said, why is that screen black over there? Oh, I forgot to change my camera. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> I was having so much fun uh, laughing at myself. I forgot to do, by the way, I had to do there. All right. Anyway, w welcome to all you folks out there on uh, the RealLibertyMedia.com on the Freakers Ball show page. Yes, indeed. That's where the video is at. Also, the chat. Also, uh, you could be there on Vaughn.Live slash Real Liberty Media. Or maybe you're on the audio stream, in which case you could be lots of places. RealLiberty.org, FreedomsNetwork.com, RLMRadio.XYZ, TuneIn, Internet Radio, Shoutcast, all those places. Yeah, yeah, it's always good to have you here from wherever you may be. Yes, indeedy. And it is a full moon. And it is Friday the 13th, so we should be having some fun tonight, I would say. I guarantee ya! <laughs> oh, man. And now, joining us is the wonderful, lovely, Mighty Moose Girl! In a second or two, as soon as her little thingy connects. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping for great timing there where I would say that and then her, her thing would connect up and and uh, yeah it's not really connected for some reason I don't, I don't know why Moose oh she just she, she un, undid her thingy so uh, yeah yeah alright she's going to try again I guess I don't, I don't know here she goes here she goes here she goes here she goes I see it I see it I didn't hear a little dingy ling let me see if I'm I'm not muted, am I? Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Uh yeah, I don't know. She's not uh she's not I'm not hearing her. Can you hear me, Moose? Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> oh, she can hear me, okay, that's good. <laughs> and and I can't uh, she can't hear me. Alright, um well uh ba 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, I could take a look if you want. I could take a look real quick. Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, you want me to look? I will. Uh, it should be something simple. I, yeah, okay, take a look. All right, we'll, we'll pop on over there. Pop on over to her big bad machine. The Mighty Moose Girls machine and have a quick look-see. Anyway, how the hell y'all doing out there tonight in RLM land? Hopefully you're all ready for a nice, happy, good weekend, got some barbecues, or I don't know what the hell, all right, let's take a see, let's take a see what she's got here on her audio video settings, um, but, uh, there's, uh, oh, you're on there, that's why, let's put you back over, let's put you, stop that, let's put you here, okay, now talk, hello, 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 there you go, there you go, there you go, <laughs> all right, all right, close that. Sweet. All right. Bop. Bop, bop, bop. All right. Bop, bop. <laughs> All right. All right. We, we, are go. we are talking now. All right. So, yeah, I, when you broadcast, you want to put it on the voice meter. And when you don't okay. and when you don't broadcast, go back to your your headphone headset. Okay. Yeah, I must not have changed that back over then. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No big All deal. right. Well, thanks, Grim. Sure. <laughs> I'm glad it was an easy fix. Yeah, I figured it was something simple. Right. Well, I was messing with those sound settings when I did that test broadcast. So. Yeah, yeah, no, that was cool too. It was a good, good test. Oh, thanks. So. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I mean, I, I was just babbling, but whatever. Right. Yeah. You know, whatever. It sounded good, and and the broadcast was clean and yep. strong and. Cool. You know, whatever. So I'm good to go now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeeper. 
Anyway, uh, howdy to all the folks here in the chat. We got we got all kinds yeah, of folks howdy. here. We got the barman and the cowboy tech and you and me. Or yep. You and I. What's the proper terminology? All right. Um, you and I. You and I. <laughs> you and I. <laughs> we got anti and uh, Chelsea Doni Echelon. Miss Gramsie. Hey, Gramsie. How are you doing? Missing your show, Grammy, Lee. Grammy. Missing your show, woman. Yeah. Uh, we, the hell, Lee. No, I'm just kidding, Grammy. Yeah, yeah, you, no, you know, you got to do what you got to do in life. That's just life, dude. You got to do what you got to do. That's you know, all you got to do what you got to do. That's pretty simple. Yep. All right, we still have the lovely I.B. Don C. with us, although he... We do, uh, and it's weird, I mean... Yeah, he passed away last Sunday. Yes, he did. But he's, still, right, he's, Don. he's still here, he's connected with us, so... All right, from Hi. the... Yeah, Don. Spirit World. Over there on the other side, man, I hope you're doing well over there. World. Hopefully it's fun, hopefully you can hear us over there. Yeah, I hope so, that would be cool. <laughs> We got the Woodman Meister Brow, Poopster, and Prince. He did their fourth show last night. Wow, there. awesome, guys. Good job. Fourth episode of the Power Hour. We got right. Miss Kate and Rome's uh, The Vanna White Bot, Mr. Vin E. Vin E. Who did his uh, interesting show today about some some cool stuff. Uh <laughs> Yeah, it was no the Ponder Gainer. Oh, good. Uh, no, that's good. I mean, I'm I'm working now, so you know, at my new job, so I can't. Yeah, yeah. You, live. Right, you gotta go back for the podcast. All yeah. right, we got Phantom and Asmo Two, Mister CC Sixty Six, uh, Suckdell Cyborg, uh, Damn Van Meter. Oh, <laughs> Donna, <laughs> uh, and the Frumpy. Uh, Gromit Ju Juzus, uh, uh, JJ's Kiss, Matt WJ there, Mr. Snick, uh, Ponder Gander, another version of the Vinny there, Pone Sauce, the real Donnie Wu, Sock Puppet, Smart Ass, the Holiest Roger, did I, was Rome's here? Oh yeah, Rome's, he, he had was his, earlier. his birthday was on Wednesday on September, yes. September 11. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the big big holiday now that you can all go out and barbecue to the Zed people, I guess. Yeah, man. You know, uh, they just they they're still hyping that shit up like, Oh the president and Melania did a tribute on nine one one. Right. It's so well, I don't even pay attention to it anymore. I mean it's been what, eighteen, nineteen years ago? Eight, eighteen. Eighteen years, but you know, you still gotta talk about it because we well, still yeah. we still need to find out we need, we still need them to admit the truth. Of course they're never going to, but but we need them no, to they're to, never gonna admit. We'll we, never we, no. we need them to admit the truth, so we gotta just keep rubbing their noses in it. Right. And just like the JFK assassination, we will never know the truth about that either. And exactly. how long ago was that? Uh nineteen sixty three, so uh, right. fifty four years. Wait. Yeah. What, what is this? Fifty fifty six years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we you know, I I believe that I know a little bit of what happened, like based on documentaries that have been done and blah blah, blah. same with nine one one. Right, know. yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of different uh, evidence pointing at different things, but all of it points to the fact that they're lying. Right. That, that, that's that's well, the one. Yeah. The one constant is they are lying. When someone told me, um, oh god, oh yeah, the, the biggest, the biggest uh, cursor for me or red flag for me is the fact that all these like engineers in the professional engineering architects and engineering people, building engineers and stuff. Right. They a lot a big group of them came out and said, Oh, no way did this go down the way they said. Right. The a, a, that's that's a lot of proof right there. Yeah, it's the A E nine eleven truth group. Um, yes, yes. Architects and engineers for nine eleven truth. Um yeah, they've they've made several different documentaries showing you exactly what right. probably happened and why they, why the official story could never hold up. Exactly. I got black stuff on my fingers here. And then no one ever talks about Building 7 still. 
You know, you say Building 7 to some people that act like they know about 911, right. and they're like, huh? What's that? What do you mean, Building 7? You mean the 7 Eleven so down? Know, they're just like, it's like, dude, do you fucking know anything about what fucking happened that day? I mean, come on. Yeah, the 7 Eleven down on the corner, that Building 7? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and the guy says, pull it. Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah. Pull it. Yeah. What does that mean? It means pull the fucking trigger to explode it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so many things, you know, the, the uh, oh, ama- yeah. amazing uh, disclosure of $2.3 trillion missing the day before. The yeah. fa- The fact that, uh, uh, what's, uh, what's that guy's name? He, they bought all that insurance, the one that said pull it. Um, Rothschild. No, 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 no. Some, oh, Larry. Yeah, Silverstein. Uh, Silverstein. Yes. Right, right. So, and then that, and then the fact that they immediately grabbed up all the evidence and, and put it on boats to China. Yeah, yeah. So, so that nobody could inspect the evidence. And, Such a fucking... Oh, I mean, there's just tons oh. and tons of things. The fact that buildings just don't collapse like that. No, uh, they don't. <laughs> not that quickly and not into dust. Yeah, not it, unless it just, they're exploding. Then, then all the missing uh, gold from the from the vault below the below the building. Right. Oh, imagine that. Yeah, uh, just uh, so many things, so many things, you know. Right. So and, many and the things. fact that there was supposed to be like twenty thousand people in those two buildings on that day, and there was only right. like there was only like three thousand people in right, there. Right, because some people were told. Well, from a lot of people. Companies were told, "Oh, just stay home to tomorrow." Yeah. Right. Uh, don't Monday don't don't come in. Tuesday so. Was. so Monday they were told stay home. Don't come into work tomorrow. Right. So there was it's, there was people knew about this before it happened. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. You know, three thousand people were yeah, lucky. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. They 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 knew about it. There ain't no question about that. Then. Oh yeah. So. Uh, so. Yeah. It's just like, it goes, this whole tribute to it. I mean, I, I do feel bad about the people that died, and I know... Oh, sure, absolutely. You know, there's a Facebook friend of mine whose father was, you know, a firefighter or a cop. Right, they kill actually. They firefighter. Kill. They, and they... he's dead now because of him responding to the 911 thing. Okay. His father. His and father. and then there's that huge question is, what the fuck was in that dust? Exactly. You know, well, that, the that's thermite that, for one thing, but I don't think the thermite will kill you. That just explodes the building. Yeah, right? I, I don't know what they, what kind of stuff they put in there, but that's not Bunch normal. Bunch of people got sick and died. That, yep. That's that's not what happens from a normal building uh, being demolished or collapsing. No, it is not. It is not. So there was something else, and and then that's yeah. still that's still an ongoing thing. So yes, it yeah. is. That was part of the reason. Or that was a catalyst to me even hating the government even more and waking up even more when that right. happened. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. it was totally like, what the fuck? Exactly. What's going on. You know what I mean? Like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, it was, it was, a, I remember because I was, my boys were about one year old that, because it was in September. So they, well, they were a little bit older than, they were like. Year and a half. A year and a half old, 18 months or something. And I was just like, what the fuck? Holy these babies that I just brought in the world. I'm like, what the fuck is going to go on? What's going to happen now? Right. And I just brought babies in the world. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> now this shit's going down. You know, it's like, oh, my God. Yep, yep. It's just like, whoa. Exactly. Whoa. Yeah, All right. Anyway. Go ahead. Oh, well, I was, was going to say, we, we should kick it off with some jams yeah, here. Let's do that. Because it's, you know. And it's, it's Freaky Friday Full Moon. Full the 13th, moon. Friday the 13th Full Moon. Freaky Friday, Friday the 13th yeah. Full Moon Freakers for you Which all. Which we've had a few of these. Well, we we definitely have. Throughout the years. Yeah. 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 So. So enjoy right. your full moon. Enjoy it, people. Get weird. Definitely. <laughs> all right, all right. There you go. A couple of free moon songs for you all. <laughs> that was the uh, infamous string dusters doing the police's walking on the moon at a vibes festival back in 2011. Miss Moose Girl request there for you. Before that, Ozzy Osbourne barking at the moon. Yes, indeed. And kicked it off with Creedence Clearwater Revival. Bad Moon Rising. 
Yep, yep, that's the moon for you today, tonight, right here, right now. <laughs> oh, man, yep, we're all mooning. We're all mooning you. <laughs> Moose girl, are you still here now? Are you, are you muted now? Anyway, hello, hello, hello. Moose, 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 moose. Checking, testing, uh, one, two, moose, moose. Moose, moose. <laughs> I don't hear you. <laughs> Is there something going on over there in Moose Land? What's up, Miss Moose? I'm not seeing any messages. Uh, maybe she walked away. I don't know. It's possible. That's a possibility that she walked away. Maybe she's having a conversation with her dog. That's also a possibility. <laughs> oh, Moose Girl, where'd you go? All right. Anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll just carry on until she returns. I'm sure she's around over there somewhere, somehow, someplace. So anyway, um, yeah, it's Friday the 13th, too, and I, I don't really have a lot of good Friday the 13th style songs. Um, oh, okay, she says she didn't do anything, but I can't hear her. So, uh, yeah. All right, I, I I I don't I don't know I don't know what's going on there um, with that. So uh, we'll uh, check in a second here. As soon as I get done doing what I'm doing over here, besides rambling on talking to y'all, because uh, there's something something ain't right. You, you you're sure you're not muted? She's gonna hang up and call back. Okay, that's fine. That'll work. So uh, go ahead, hang up, call back. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't. I hear I, I, I hear a ring a ringy ding ding. Oop, where did they go? All right, there we go. Now we are connected once again, and hello. There she is. <laughs> All what? Right. What? Yeah, there, there you are. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't it know. must be because I unplugged the headset, so it screwed up wire. Oh, that's that's a that's a possibility. That's, that's probably what happened. All right. Sorry about that. All right, and and why and why did you do that? Because I needed a USB port. I'm like, well, I can plug this thing in quick in between all the songs I'm playing. But I'm like, no, <laughs> I can find a USB charger that plugs into the wall and charge a USB to de USB device that way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm not slowing down. I'm not that old yet. I can still like reason and problem solve. <laughs> so I asked Matt. I'm like. Do we have a USB charger? He's like, they don't make those only for Apple. I'm like, no, dude, they make them. <laughs> Whatever. He's yeah. not. He he is a electronics dude, but I don't think he knew what I was talking about. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Because he would know that. I mean, come on. All right. Plumbing during the show. What does that fucking mean? Are, is like plumbing really real plumbing, or is that a euphemism? I uh, it's a euphemism. Okay. All yeah, right. That. To me, no, you know what, dude? I wish. I wish I was fucking doing that during the show. I wouldn't do that during the show, but if okay. that is what you're talking about, you know, yeah, no, that would never happen. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Since you were talking about the fact that you can still think and still reason and things like yes. that, and, and I think uh, many of us at this more advanced age... <laughs> Have have like yeah. little, little memory lapses and and uh, reasoning issues. I came across a thing. Uh, I think it was just like a meme on Minds earlier this week, and uh, I, I was unaware pretty much of this situation. That and maybe you've heard of it. I don't know, but apparently drinking out of copper vessels. Yes, whether, I've heard of this. Whether it be a cup or a bottle or whatever, right? Um, improves. Not just your your brain, your cognitive thinking, but also your memory and things like that. Yes. So I, I went and researched some stuff here, and, and here I have some stuff to share with you. Uh, All right. Here on this. This is on oh. uh, yogadigest.com. Nice. And uh, I don't know how old, how old this is. It doesn't really have a date on here. All right, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it still pertains because this is an ancient thing. <laughs> It says here, six reasons to try a copper water vessel. It says, okay. Dur during my childhood days, I remember my grandma storing water in a copper vessel overnight. 
she would have us drink it first thing in the morning, claiming the water was extremely healthy for the mind and body. Now, when I see these ancient customs re-emerging, I look back and think, I should have taken my grandma's advice seriously. Right. Uh, uh, copper is considered an essential mineral for our body. Mm-hmm. I, and maybe you can pronounce this word. It's a a y u r v e d a, Ayurveda. Ayurveda. We'll go with that. Ayurveda, yeah. Ayurveda recommends storing water overnight in a copper jug and drinking it first thing in the morning for maintaining good health. The water stored in this way, called tamara jal, and it helps to balance all three doshas, the kapta, vada, and pitta, whatever. Uh, the, the, metal, the metal copper has electromagnetic energy, which is called prana shakti. Drinking water that is stored for 8 to 10 hours in a copper vessel is very beneficial. Copper makes the water ionic, which helps to maintain the body's pH, alkaline balance, uh, acid alkaline balance. So here, so I'll just give you the, the bullet points on this one here. Six great benefits of copper. It's antimicrobial. It's a great brain stimulus, uh, stimulant. Yep. It, aids yep. in, it aids in weight loss. It, I believe that. It, I believe that. It slows down aging. I believe that. <laughs> and also, copper has anti-inflammatory properties, and it can fight off cancer. I believe so, that. Um, all, I mean, you know, if you needed any reason more, I, I don't know, but I have more <laughs> on another article okay, here. Okay, cool. Um, here, 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 here is this. Uh, yeah, kind of like silver in, in many ways, uh, uh, Cowboy Tech. Silver has all kinds of great stuff to it. Uh, but this here from uh, DrAxe.com, Ayurvedic medicine benefits include lowering stress and blood pressure. And it goes through it explaining uh, what is Ayur- Ay- Ayurveda, 5,000-year-old system of natural healing that's truly stood the test of time, first orig- originating in the Vedic culture of India. It's actually considered to be, by many, to be the oldest healing science there is. Ayurveda. Yes, it is. I believe that. That's yeah. true. Are you Vedic? Are you Vedic or whatever? Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> Ayurvedic medicine. Ayurvedic. Ayurvedic. I well, think it's or like aura. Aura. Well, it's a y u a y u r v e d i c. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's a different word. Okay, so it's it's uh, it's as the previous article said, based on the premise that there are three doshas: the vata, yes. the pitta, and the kapha. Yep. An- another core belief of Ayurveda is that disease and illness originate from imbalance of the three energies and a disconnect from nature. What is your Ayurvedic body type? It depends right. on things like your body composition, metabolism, digestion, and other factors. So here's some of the things it helps with. Uh, Alzheimer's, anxiety or depression, asthma, cancer, dementia, uh, dys- dysmenorrhea, which is, I guess, pain- painful menstruation, uh, yes. her- herpes, <laughs> for you herp victims wow. out there, um, high blood pressure, cholesterol, Parkinson's, perimenopausal problems, uh, PMS. So, uh, guys, if you're out there and, and you have a um, wife that has a certain issue, uh, right. partic- particular once a month, you may want to consider the Ayurvedic methods here. And I you have, are saying that correct too, I believe, Graham. You're saying, are you? However, you're saying it. I think that's the correct pronunciation. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, so there's <laughs> there's that. And then um, and let me uh, give you this little quick link over here. Um, <laughs> let me give you this quick link over here. This is a a vessel or a, a pitcher a, a water bottle, a copper water, hundred percent. Uh, copper yeah, water bottle. Do you have a link? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give it to you right now. Oh, sweet. Yeah, because I want. I need because you can't trust. Like you don't want to really buy a copper vessel from Walmart. Like no, I mean, no, good, no. But this you is... want to get the real deal. You don't want some knockoff that's like really looks like the same thing, what it really isn't. Yeah, this is this is uh, Ayurvedic approved. Okay. Well, whatever sure. you know. Um, 
Oh, yeah, that looks sweet. I'm getting one of those. I mean, shit, $14? Right. And they have a bunch of other ones. I'm not saying that's the one you need to get. Right, But right. Um, I, I checked it out. This is a 31-ounce uh, thing that you could just put water in there in, at, at night yeah. and drink it in the morning. You know, put right. it in the, put it in the fridge. You got some nice cool water. Yeah, you can bring it to work or whatever, and then just drink it throughout the day. Yeah, uh, however, or just drink yeah. it all in the morning. You know, thirty one ounces. Right. That's not too much. Right. I, I drink no, I, I I drink that much before I get my coffee. Um, <laughs> first first thing when I do it, I when I, I get up in the morning, I go to the bathroom, I go put the coffee on, and, and the coffee takes twenty five minutes for for me. Uh, and, and then I come in here to the computer and start turning things on. While, while I'm doing that, I'm drinking water. And I'll drink a bottle and a half, at least, of these 16-ounce bottles uh, while, right, I'm, right. while I'm waiting for my coffee. So this is, you know, just a little bit more than that. But it's got, it's nice. Um, also, uh, and, I, and I looked up because I was like, well, what happens if this thing gets dirty? And there's a certain special easy way to clean that, a little bit of lemon water in there. And, oh, okay. Yeah, and, and it cleans it right up. And you, there's some other methods, and there's a bunch of other pages on the Ayurvedic uh, thing that you for certain foods you may want to have or whatever. Right, okay. But but this seems so simple. This seems like the simplest, yeah, definitely, a, a, absolute simplest thing to do uh, is is just drink this water out of the, one of these canisters or bottles or cups. The biggest thing I can say is just make sure you're getting real copper, a real copper vessel. You don't want these knockoffs. Right. Yeah. Because and that, and that, you know, that one that I pointed out there. And if right. you look, if you look below that there on, on the Amazon there, yeah, that, there's that, a they, bunch of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, bunch you know, of them. Just, there's pictures and there's right. And this was this was the, the, yep. this was the least expensive. Um, right. Right. So so that's why I said, oh yeah, this is this is the one. Um, so. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, you can get other ones or whatever. You yep, know. yep. But just yeah, I mean, this this is good, and this is one thing that I think we are a service, as being doing the Freakers Ball, is that we talk about stuff like this, health issues and health things you can do to combat cancer or any other disease or illness or imbalance. Um, right, right. So you what, know, I mean, you can do it, it for yourself because your doctor's not going to tell you to do this stuff. Right. And your if doctor it's a, wants you sick. He wants you to come to him every time you feel ill or this or that. But you know what? You're you're your best doctor. Right. And, and if it's as simple as drink, doctor. if it's if it's as simple as drinking water, why exactly. not? Why wouldn't you? you <laughs> right. And the fact that exactly. I I'd never heard of this before this. So, uh, oh, yeah. no, I heard about it before. I think we talked about it before on the Freakers Ball for like three well, years ago. We may have, and I just kind of blew past me. I can't remember exactly specifically. See, but See you can't remember. This will help. <laughs> well, when you, oh, no, when you do 12 years of shows, Graham, no, I, I oh, no, oh, yeah, it was this show specifically on this date. We did. I know we talked about it before, though. I know we have discussed this subject before. So I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but what I think is good is that people, like, I seriously, I learned this from Grammy Mary's show, was the um, the belly button thing. Oh, yeah, and right. For her show, I had never heard of that before. And then I tell people out in the public, like, my, not people, just general people, not just strangers, but people I know that I'm having conversations with, that I'm at the bar, or I'm talking to my friends, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, hey. Did you know this? That you can put castor oil or coconut oil on your belly button, and it helps to revive blood vessels in certain parts of your body. And they're like, "No way!" They're like, "Whoa!" Right. You know what I mean, like people don't know this stuff. Exactly. So it's like you need to be your own advocate. You need to be your own doctor. I mean, basically, because the doctors. They, their main, they're Western medicine doctors, okay, right. and they're not open-minded doctors because they went to medical school, a, a, a certified medical school for the American Medical Association. All right. Yeah. So they're only schooled in that aspect of it, and I'm not saying all of it's bad, right? Right, right. But they're so closed-minded that they don't. A lot of them do not. Or Nicole Jackson. A lot of them do not 
open their minds and think about think outside the box because they weren't trained to do that as doctors. Yeah. You know, they're trained to push these big pharma meds and you know, even with dentists with the fluoride issue. The dentists are convinced that fluoride is good for protecting your teeth. Which, yeah, well, they were trained that way. They they were taught. They were that, trained that it was drilled in their heads and, that and, and fluoride's good for your teeth. It prevents cavities. Blah blah blah. Based on so no evidence. The water right. supply. What a bunch of horseshit that is. Exactly. You know, it's like they got these doctors duped. They got the dentists duped. Sure. So yeah. I'm going to have a hard time, or a hell of a time. Maybe not. A, hopefully not a hard time. But I'm not expecting it to be an easy time when I ask the city council to remove fluoride and chlorine from the water supply. I'm oh, expecting right. a lot of blowback and a lot of fucking fake science that basically that's what it is. It's fake science when they say, oh, fluoride is good for... Well, uh, I'll tell you what. Um, you know, go and find and print up some evidence and such and then make a make a, a sign-up thing and have a petition thing and, and, exactly. and, and go around and have people right. sign it and then... Go so door to door, even in my neighborhood. Well, whatever you know, put it up at the college, uh, wherever. Right. People, yep, people mean, will get on board. It's going to take a while before I'm ready to present this to the city council. I'm right, not gonna right. Walk in there next week and go. Four, it should be taken out of the water. Yeah. You know, not yeah. without backup and shit. No, right. I have to have my du ducks in a row here. Yeah, you know? yeah. Get, get your evidence gathered together, and then have a petition, yep. and then and then take it in there right. and say, look, I've got. Whatever, ten thousand signatures here, uh, out of a of a exactly. town out of a town of fifty thousand. So do right. this. <laughs> All right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So um yeah no I mean now that I have some time because for a long time I didn't have the time, but now I'm really going to actually I've picked a cause. I mean there's many causes, but I think this is a good one. I think it's a really good one because I really dislike the fact that I have this shit in my water, in the water. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So that's what you, I mean, you know, this is what, when people say, well, do something. Well, what are you doing? Right. You know, right. and for a long time, my answer was I'm raising fucking kids. You know, <laughs> you know that's what yeah, I'm fucking yeah, doing yeah, right now. Yeah. But now I'm, they're 19 and now I'm going to actually do, quote unquote, do something which is I picked a cause that I think is very important. Sure. Important. It's a great one. And I'm going to do this cause, okay? Yeah. I, I mean, if, if it's one thing, you know, I'm generally against petitions and uh, tell, uh, begging the government to, oh, please right. do something. But uh, yeah. when it comes to the fact that it's possible you can get the fluoride out of your water, that, right. that's, that's probably a good one. So, yeah, uh, and I know that there's other small cities in the country that have done this same thing. Right. So right. I can do research. I can do case, you know print it up, case studies here, case this happened here, this happened there. Sure. But like I said, I have to have the research so I can. I want to do the best argument against it that I can bring. I don't want to just bring well and then just talk off the top of my head. You know what I mean? That won't work. I have to yeah. be serious, and it has to it has to be well thought out, well planned out. Yeah, and, and I, I don't know what I, I don't know what they what all they use out there. I don't care, but if they do use, use the fluoride and the the chlorine, chlor, the, cl the new version of chlorine. Yeah, the chloramine. That would chloramine, be another exactly. another thing for them to just go back to the regular chlorine. If you need to put something in there, you're better right. off. Even though chlorine's not good, it's better than right. the freaking chloramine. You right. Know? <laughs> so, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, because one of the arguments will be, well, we need to make the water safe, you know. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, you got to get the, all the bacteria and crap out of it. Right, right. But, uh, so that'll be an argument, but I'll be like, okay, well, well then, you, you can know, because they do send out the water report every year, yeah. like, what's the, the percentage of all the chemicals that are in the water. Right. Like, I haven't gotten one for a while. Well, yeah, and getting rid of that stuff by adding uh, noxious chemicals is not the way to go. No, it is not. No. <laughs> so... <laughs> No. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, Vinny posted this a little bit ago. I'm going to repost it for you here. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, this is a, a little thing on uh, Legacy.com. It's a, an obituary for for Don, uh, and uh, you can go in there and you can. I, I I put in there earlier and made a note thing there in the, in the little guest book, and um, and cool. uh, they said it could take up. Fully appear for me. I don't know why. I didn't they, see they, the full. 
they said it could take up to 24 hours. Well, you clicked probably that Facebook link that Vinny posted. Just use that link. Yeah, that's what I clicked. Oh, here, I'll click this other one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if Facebook crap, but whatever. Um, but So, yeah, and, and I put the, my note it's in there. It's the same thing. Same thing? Yeah. Huh. Why? I don't, I don't know. I don't I'll know. I don't know. That's weird. I'll copy and paste in a different browser, maybe. Uh, thanks for that, Hans. There, a live science out of Veda Facts. Yeah. I, I, Ayurveda facts. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I looked up a bunch of different sites and the, the, the various, uh, like you said, foods and such like that that you can use. Um, so. Hey, Grim, I'm going to take my dog out. He's all right, I'll, I'll play some more music and, and then... Uh, yeah, sorry about that. But, that's all you know, right. I can't control that shit. And, uh, okay, okay. All right, thanks. Anyway, anybody looking to uh, check out... Uh, um, Don Don's uh, obituary thing where you can go in there and say some words about him, whatever. It's uh, legacy.com slash obituary slash name slash Don dash Carol dash obituary question mark PID equals one nine three eight five nine nine. So um, uh, it'll be in the it'll be in the post show blog as well. But uh, you know the thing is. Um, uh, if you if you're just if you're not looking at the blog and you're just listening to the podcast or something like that, uh, go over there and make some notes. Yeah, I would imagine his family will read through those, and so that, that that'd be good. All right. Anyway, we're gonna play some more music here while Moose Girl is out taking care of the doggy. And um, here you go. Enjoy these here. Ah, kicking it off with a uh, pretty reckless. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, so nice, so nice there. Steve Winwood, Eric Clapton, and Derek Trucks doing Can't Find My Way Home. That's a Moose Girl request, yeah. Good stuff. Before that, we had the Foo Fighters doing Ramble On live at Wembley Stadium. Oh, with a couple of guys from Led Zeppelin sitting in there. You may have seen uh, Jimmy Page and John Paul Jones. And we kicked it off with the Pretty Reckless and Heaven Knows. Live at the Isle of Wight Festival back in 2014. Yipper pepper. <laughs> oh man, that was such good music. Such such good from beginning to end there, man. Uh, tell you what. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Moose Girl, are you muted? <laughs> I am here. I'm oh, here. okay, okay, okay. I was just wondering. If, if yeah, I, I know because of the way it's been going with the song and the the weird headset. Like, I need to get a new headset, dude. Like, I need. I should because I want one that like you have where you can see when you're muted. Yeah, yeah, you should get because, the same one I got. It works great. Right. Because my only fuck up when I did my test show was that I muted and didn't know it. And then I was just babbling and just looking at stories and not watching the chat until someone actually typed my name and pinged me. You know, I highlighted it or whatever. Right. But and, and the one I got. Sucked. Other than that, it went good. But and, and the the one I got's only twenty bucks, so you know what the hell. Right. It's like it's worth it. You know. Yeah. I mean, for sure because yeah. um yeah no if you can't tell that you're muted when you're broadcasting that can be a real drag. You know, yeah, it's, it's generally especially I'm not. if you're recording the show or you have a guest on, you know, or you know. Sure, yeah, it's right. not, a good, not a good deal there when you're broadcasting. Right, exactly. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's all right. It's all right. All right, it does happen. I mean, we aren't CNN. We don't have like a whole. We we're not in a studio together. With exactly. a, bunch, a camera person, a song guy, and you know, yes, yeah, right, a pro group. producer, all that stuff. So, right, so it's not going to be perf the good thing about this though is there's no commercials. Yeah. So, because we, you know, we thought about doing that. We thought about having sponsors, like you know, yeah. sponsors, or like yeah. you know what, we, nah. we 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 don't have the audience for a sponsor. No, we don't. No, and yeah. then. What we are is mostly, I like to think of it as like a grassroots type program where, you know, it's just me and you bullshitting. I mean, this started out because 
I was sitting around most Friday nights, like, bored out of my skull after my kids went to bed or whatever. And I'd be like, Let's, what do I do now? You know, when they were younger and I was a single mom and I, you know, I couldn't go out all the time. I didn't have a lot of money. I'm like, I'm sitting home on a Friday night, you know, might as well be on the air talking about stuff, babbling or whatever is important or relevant or even not relevant. <laughs> right. But anyway, um, so yeah, when I tell people I've been doing an internet radio show for 12 years, they're like, really? I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a long time though. It is a long time. I mean, some sitcoms don't even last that or that long. Exactly. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Right. And so what we do, instead of doing having advertising and sponsors and all that happy horse shit, we once a month, one I mean, one month out of the year mm -hmm. is our donation month. Right. I mean, we, 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 we accept donations all through the we, year. We do. We got a very nice one last right. week. From, uh, oh, my, we did? Yeah, from, from one of one Hal's fans, my dog, Rex. Oh, sweet. Nice. Um, Thank you I, very much. Are, are, am I coming through your speakers there? Yeah. Do you want me to switch to headset? Please. I will. <laughs> well, see, you didn't say anything about it up to this point. So yeah, I know. I, was, I, was, I thought maybe it was just like a little echo or something. But, and no, no. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah. Thank you very much for the donation. We appreciate that. Um, yeah, and, and and we get other regular donations every month for many years now. I don't know how many years, but Grammy Mary has been paying for Spreaker for every month. Yes, 20, yes. 20 bucks a month. Boom, boom, boom. Without Which is sale. Very awesome. And yes. and she's awesome, and she's continuing to pay for it even though she's not doing radio. So, and so that's right, lovely. You, now, right, and you and support, and I've oh, also sorry. been uh, I've also been for several months now. Uh, getting a, a regular twenty dollar donation every month mm -hmm. from your very own Vincent Easley. Thank you so much, Vincent. Yeah, he's an awesome dude. He comes on here, he does You're all kinds awesome. of radio and, yes. and stuff, and plays. But you know, he is a, a host of a show too. Uh, he is a host of a show. He he, he, he so contributes that's above and, and beyond. Contributes and in a Grammy kind of way. It's above and beyond. We we love the Vinny. You. We love the Vinny, even if he. We do. He, even if he plays some terrible music. <laughs> he has a good voice. He does have, he has a great voice. He has a very yeah, good singing no, voice, so I like Well, I, know, I, I wasn't going to go I, singing. I appreciate that in a person. <laughs> I, I, I was not going to say he's got a good singing voice, but he's got a good voice. He's a good guy, generally all around, good good natured. Yeah, dude, he is. And, he's a good uh, shit. Well, you know, we can give him shit and he doesn't mind. Right. And so all we do once a year, one month under the year, is, is ask for donations. The rest of the time we don't come out and ask we just it's there it's the options there you can do it if you want to or if you don't want to but once a month once a year we do ask for donations but that's all i mean yeah nothing you know even a dollar is is beneficial right Seriously. you know it costs us you know around 400 bucks to keep everything running for a year right for the and, year um, and we try to just reach that goal every year we're not trying to make money we're not trying to you know none of that we're just trying to keep keep the fires burning per se. Yeah. The you know, RLM fire. <laughs> stay on here, you know, and, uh, right. I mean, now we have, I mean, uh, a new show, so it's not like we're the same old, same old all the time. We, you know, we all, Grimner will often say on his shows when he's on, if you have an idea for a show, if you want to do a show, let me know, send me an email, blah, blah, blah. Right. Right. There's a form so, right there. On, there's a form on the right. website. You just, just go to contact us and you select the, from the drop down there. I want to do a show, and, yep. and, and send it over, and, and we'll get this, you set up. Right. This is like an open forum. You know, it's, it, it's a place for people, if they have something to say, if you have something you want to talk about, you want to discuss, even if it's just one issue and you do one show, that's fine. You can be on the ROM right. channel. You don't have to be, you're on your own channel, and, you no. know, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, there's people here, especially Grimner, that can get you set up. I mean... I hadn't broadcast from this machine before, and it's a fairly new machine. So last Saturday when I was talking about, or Friday I said I might do something in place of the of the door cable on Saturday. That was all well and good, but turns out I hadn't broadcast from this computer yet, so it took like an hour to get it set up 
for me to be able to broadcast and do that test show. Right. And Grimner, I don't know how you do this, Grimner, but you, you just have this, like, file cabinet in your fucking brain <laughs> or something, or database. You're like, oh, yeah, you need this. You need. I mean, you're putting all those things in, like, voice meter and shit, stuff I never heard of. I'm like, how do you remember all this fucking shit? Well, I use like, the... how do you do it? <laughs> I suppose you do it enough times, but, yeah. you know, yeah. it's just like anything. The more you do it, you know. Right. But still, it's just like, oh, my God. It would have taken me for, like, a day. Yeah, play, 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 yeah. Playing with software is the, my, my... Right, right. That's, that's but that. you're good at testing out different different things to see if something comes up that's better than what you have. You know, yeah, like sure. the wire thing, you know. Yeah, right. A, a whizzing wizard. Right, he is a wizard. <laughs> no, but, like, with the wire thing, like, like, when you tell people, some people, like, you say, oh, Sign up on wire. They have no idea what the fuck you're talking right. about. Right, you know and, I mean? and I don't know if you noticed or not, but if you go to the Freakers Ball show page on reallybitymedia.com, yeah. uh, you'll see I took off that old phone number that was on there. Yes, I saw that, and you said call in on wire now. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, um, no, that's good. And, and, and some I, people will you know, hopefully put, learn put, what wire is, and. Yeah, whatever. You know. I, I, anything to get people away from Skype is a good thing. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, because. You don't want, I mean, why give them fuel for their fire? I mean, the more right, you can right. do to not do that, the better, you know. Yeah, yeah. All right, anyway, during this last uh, music break, uh, you were talking there in the chat about the cartridges and the, the vaping yes. and, the, and the like fl funky flavors like Skittles and other flavors. Yes. <clears throat> Which leads right into my next story. Okay. And, and although this is not about uh, THC pimp temp stuff, this is about the regular vaping people are doing. With cigarettes. Right. So it's this here article from uh, Yahoo.com. Oh, yeah, uh, I saw this today. Trump looks to ban flavored vaping yeah. products. I saw that. It's people like people are dying, he says. Yeah. Now, now, they don't really have any idea why people are getting sick and or dying. They're blaming it on the right. vaping because that's yes. the easiest target, and they want to demonize the vaping yes. in the first place. They do. So right. um, now they're, they are going to ban all non-tobacco flavored vaping e-cigs. Uh, well, that's because those are just the ones that have no nicotine in them, though. I'm not defending it. I'm just saying there's all these different kinds. There's, like, vaping just to vape and if there's no nicotine which I don't understand that oh whatever they get and a flavor vaping right? that has nicotine in it and then there's THC vaping it's just like oh my god you they, know what they, I mean they get a flavor out of it or whatever I, I have no idea either but uh, the fact that they're going to go ahead and ban something with no actual no evidence exactly uh, uh, other other than some well these people some of these people that were doing this were vaping and they got this thing you know hurting them and some people have died well, without actually having any proof yeah, and, and the, that, that this... The amount of people that have died, it's not that huge. I mean, they already... In, in Wisconsin, there was like four people. That's and that... they already arrested the dude because what he was doing was making his own oils in his house or something. And there was bad shit in there. You know what I mean? Like, maybe he wasn't even sterilizing the goddamn things properly. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have no idea. To, people, he tried to, like make his own business and make his own cartridges. Right. Well, unless you really know what you're doing and you, you use strict standards of sterilization and everything, right. who knows what it was. It, it, it probably wasn't even anything but, to but, do with... It was probably the lack of sterilization in the cartridges he, he used. Uh, possibly, he used if it was even those that were causing the problem. Yeah, because these were ones that were sold on the street in Milwaukee. Like some, you know, like some homeless person, whatever, they'll be like, yeah, man... You know what I mean? And he's probably selling them cheaper than they normally are worth. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so it got in the hands of some fucking young people because, you know, it did because it's Milwaukee and there's some bad parts of town there and shit. You know, it's like New York, mini New York, you know. Right. I mean, so 
Anyway, they already so, determined that it was probably due to the fact that people were trying to make their own cartridges in their own home. Yeah, which, we don't, we, but they don't yeah. even really know what's that. Anyway, no, they really so, don't know. They're it, trying to. They're scrambling. They they have no idea. They're trying to blame it on this, blame it on that. You know? It says here in recent weeks, six U.S. deaths have been attributed to lung disease associated with vaping, not necessarily right. due to or because of the vaping. Uh, right. So officials at the CDC. Uh, and the FDA have been investigating hundreds of other cases of the still mysterious illness. So right, they still, still calling it mysterious. They, so that they tells don't, you they, they don't, don't know, know what the fuck. Yeah. But they're going to go right. ahead and ban a whole line of products yep. uh, based upon hypothesis that's unproven. Right, right, so, because they are targeting this vaping industry because it's a huge industry, Grim. Right. It's taken off. Well, it's, it's, just a, it's just another step in the whole tyrannical uh, yes. governmental thing that, that, that's coming under under during the time of Trump. I don't necessarily want to say because of him. Right. It's because, not because of him. I, I don't believe it's because of him. I don't um, just, just like this next one here. It says, the Trump administration considers monitoring smartphones of people with mental health problems. Oh, my fucking... Well, so, that, they already monitor all the smartphones. The smartphones are basically spy devices. I mean, come on, people. Right. If you think you're... If you're carrying a cell phone, you are not anonymous. You are definitely not. Well, you're you pretty much not, not anyway. They got all. They got all cameras right. all over the streets now, so you're pretty right. much not anonymous anyway. Exactly. If but, you're on the uh, Internet, unless, you know, unless you've got strict security, even with a VPN, you better trust that... VPN provider, because you you, you you let you took away Google's ability to see your shit, but you gave it to this private company that now can see all your shit, like your bank accounts and you know all that everything. <laughs> well, your ISP can always see all that anyway. Well, yeah, uh, and, and, but and, the VPN it can as well now. You know, so well, you better uh, trust the VPN. I mean, yeah, yeah, you need to make, make sure you got a good. Uh, uh, right, good, I mean, a good, you're being watched. We're all, we all, we're being surveilled. VPN service. We've talked about this for fucking years. And I, I can guarantee you, I, I can guarantee you that private internet access, the one that I use, yep. the, the one that other people here on Real Liberty Media okay. use, the one that Freenode uses, uh, the one that a, a lot of other okay. privacy-minded individuals use, is is a secure one. They don't, uh, they don't record any of the the sites that you go to. They okay. keep they keep no logs, um, they, they uh, and they they are safe. They don't they don't check okay. anything you do. They just provide you the tunnel service. Right, but what I'm saying is there's so many out there. Oh right. right, there's a ton of them that you are know, that are you, that you are very VPN and a search and a zillion of them come up. Right, like, how do you know which one's a good one? You know, you don't. A, you know what I mean? There's a ton of very shady ones, and if you right. if you're using a free uh, browser based VPN. They're monitoring. Okay. You. They're monitoring you. Okay. Um, which which well, is you fine. Which is, well, well, Some well, people don't know what you mean specifically, Grim. Well, well, and that that's fine if you're just trying to use it to like get around um, controls, to, like you can't watch a video from a certain country. Oh, okay. That that's fine. Um, but right. if you're trying to stay private, that's not that's not fine. Okay. Uh, so, right. um, but there there's uh, the, the one I use the, the private internet access PIA. Um, that it's a it's for your whole system or for your whole network depending on how you install it. Oh, okay. So like um, if you have a business or several. Well, that, I mean that way it's or... like, like like for IRC, right? Um, right. Your your browser based uh, v- VPN is not going to protect you on IRC. Oh, okay. Unless you're using right. unless you're using the browser based IRC client. <laughs> is, okay. Now, is is it a free free thing? No, PIA is not free. It's, how much? Uh, I think forty bucks a year. Oh, well, it's not too bad, really. Yeah, it's a, whatever. Three dollars and thirty three cents a month if right, you buy okay. if, you, if you buy a year at a time. And okay. It's a little more if you go month by month. But okay. Um, anyway, there's a cool. link. There's a link there on the front of reallibertymedia.com. dot com. Yes, sir. I have to do that. Yep. Yeah, and, and it's it's well, it's super easy to use, and you could use it on your smartphones, on your tablets. Oh, okay. Uh, on on your various operating systems. Well, so the forty bucks covers all of your devices. Uh, I think you could use five devices at oh, a okay, time. Oh, cool. Yeah, like I don't have five, so I'm yeah, right there. Yeah, uh, you know, whatever. Forty bucks. I think it's five devices at at a time. Okay. At so a my time. kids have cell phones. I could so I could put it on their cell phone, right? Sure. 
but there was a there was a different they're not on my account. But it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you know, as long as you don't, you know, you know, just right. You know, they each have one cell phone, right? Yeah. Okay, that's two. You got two computers or one computer. One computer. Okay, so you got one computer. That's three. You got a cell phone. That's four. Yeah, right. So you're, I'm still good. yeah, you're still good to go. Awesome. Yeah. So. Good. Well, thank you because I was asking. I've just been interested in it lately because I heard, well, I've heard you've been talking about it for a long time, but also Prince was talking about it, and he was kind of leery about it, and, like talking about how you have to use a reputable one. Yeah, and absolutely. You can't just pick anyone and, and go, yeah. oh, I'm good. You know? Yeah, and, and there's, you know, right. if, if you hear it advertised on the radio, I would avoid it. Um. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Right, right. So, if I were you, I would just check with your tech person, whoever that is. Right. And for me, it's Grimner and Cowboy Tech. I have two of them, actually. Or yeah. even, I have several, actually. They're all in the RLM chat. <laughs> all right, anyway, so it says here, the Trump administration is considering a proposal to combat mass shootings, oh, which, shit. which suggests phones and smartwatches may be used to track people with mental health problems. Now, people just take that as a, as a, as a good set of words, mental health problems. According right, to who? Right. who? Who says what a mental health problem is? Who well, assigns... Well, I say issue. I don't say problem. I well, say whatever. Issue. Well, whatever. Who, uh, yeah. who's, who's to decide what those issues or those exactly. problems are? Because right. if you're listening to the psychiatric uh, group of people... Those right. guys are nuts, and they're yeah, highly they're, they're highly governmentally controlled. Yes, so, they are. So anybody that may disagree with the government in any way, well, they've got a mental health problem. Anybody yeah, that I has say, yeah. that, that believes that nine eleven was not done exactly as stated by the government, they've got a mental yeah. health problem. Right. And it's it, like you know what, you motherfucker. What do they call that one? The nine one one something. Well, whatever, oh, whatever, and and yeah. you know at. at <laughs> so I yeah. mean, anything, any little tiny thing they could say is a mental health problem. Right. It's just like with anything. So things can be taken way too far, way out of context. And this is a perfect example, you know. Right. And, and so all these yeah. red, fla red flag laws they're rolling out. Um, right. They say anybody that wants to say that this guy, well, I don't trust this guy and he's got guns. They're going to go over there and take this guy's guns. And they're going to say, well, you weren't trusted by somebody. So we're taking your guns, and you have to prove that whatever this person didn't trust you about is, right. is not a real thing. So which, it comes down to their word against yours. Well, not only that, but the fact that nothing was ever proven that that, that you right. had any kind of issue whatsoever other than yeah. somebody calling and saying, hey, this guy flipped me off, or uh, this guy right. looked at me funny. Uh, this guy, the lady, my next-door neighbor that said, oh, your dog is barking. Yeah, and you yelled at the lady for but, because she, because she didn't like what you're doing. So you yelled at her. So therefore, you've got a mental health well, problem. I didn't yell at her. I just well, said, whatever. Do what you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> this 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 girl yeah. wasn't didn't get immediately back down and 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 apologize. So she has a mental health problem. Um, right. See, any, government is 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 made of a bunch of busybodies, and they want you to be fucking in everybody else's business, just like they are. Like the whole, if you see something, say something. Right. Thing. You know what I mean? But you know how many people have been killed because of that? Like, that shouldn't have been killed? Oh, well, he looked like he was doing the, and it's like, you, what? <laughs> you know, I mean. Yeah. Grow up here, people. You know, because the whole fear, fear, fear thing has really gotten to some people that buy into that whole thing, Grim. Right. So you got all these fearful people out there. Running around, you know, they're so fearful that they see some person wear, like a woman even, wearing a goddamn scarf over their head or a, what do they ever call them? Uh, hajib. Hajib. They say, "Oh my God," you know what I mean? And that's because they buy into the government shit. They buy into CNN or Fox or whatever. That they're they're so fearful. It's like really, it's a fucking human being, like. Just because they have that on their head doesn't mean shit. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. I, 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 are terrorists, uh, whatever. <laughs> okay. I, I have a thing on the screen there. Do you see it? 
Hang on, I gotta go to Chrome because it doesn't work on Fire. Yeah, six divided by two. Uh, bracket <laughs> one plus two bracket equals what? Right. Three. No. Three. No. What? What is six divided by two? Three. Okay, what is one plus two? Three. What oh, three? so it's six. No. <laughs> three plus... Oh. Do you, do you, do you know, when there's a set of a set of brackets there next to a number... Yeah. Then what do you do there? Don't ask me. I haven't taken these math classes for a long time. <laughs> you multiply. Well, you know I'm not a, a math uh, brainiac. Okay. You know that. Okay. So, so, what, so, so you multiply with whatever's okay, in the brackets. Okay, so three times three equals nine. Okay. <laughs> now, apparently, this is a big thing going on out there in the world. That, I see that. I, it's crazy. And, and it's like, I, I, when, I, when I first saw it, I, I saw it on the Twitter. They had that little graphic up there. And I said, nine. Yeah. And, then, right. and I was like, okay, people are having problems with this? And I, I, I couldn't see, understand some it. But, are some people are left brain, some people are right brain. But So I asked in the chat yeah. about this. And yeah. only one only one person responded, and they responded Ooh. the same way Cowboy Tech did. One, which I'm not oh. even sure how you get one out of that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but or, or or how you got three. Um, no, I got three because I'm like sixty divided by two is three. Right, that's right. And then, but I forgot about the bracket thing. Uh, okay. I forgot that was multiplication, so I'm like, okay, three plus three. <laughs> yeah. you know, and, I and where did so you get I'm the? Dumb. I'm dumb in math group. I'm sorry. No, it's you know, all right. It's all right. I, I just I, I saw this Please. and I was like, how could people not understand this? But uh, but apparently, I can understand. See, I for it's been a while, but, and uh, I wasn't no math whiz in, in school. I was uh, I sucked at math. Like I had to stay after school. Any, anyway, apparently, school. a lot of people have a trouble with that. A big trouble with that. Apparently. Um, anyway, so the article here on uh, Disclose.tv, uh, can you figure out the solution? This is this math equation is breaking yeah. the Internet. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> you guys got a video. It's not, it, you they can't got, break the Internet, and that's just a fucking euphemism. Whatever. That's just a fucking term people throw around. Well, oh, they, they, got the a, they, they got a video to step you through it for if you can't yeah, get it. Yeah, oh, great. It says, great. if you suffer from mathematical anxiety, which is basically like math-induced yeah, phobia, like, mass, mass in, right brain and there's left brain people. Mass induced phobia. <laughs> you, you may want I to. I have say, that. I have that. I seriously have that. Fear like, of I fear of mass. get anxious. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> you look. Remember you look something through something from high school. <laughs> what the fuck? And, and then you look through some of the answers there, and in, in the in the question in the uh, below, below in the uh, whatever the comments. And and people are some people get it and some people don't. It's just, it's just that simple. Because uh, there's left brain, there's right brain people. Yeah. Left brain people. <laughs> I don't know which is which, but there's one side that's more mathematical and scientific, and there's the other side that's more creative and artistic. And so you're either one or the other. You're, you're either a left brain person and or a right brain person. I would I would venture to guess, Grim, that you're a left brain person and I'm a right brain person. Oh, I'm definitely a left brain person. <laughs> yes, because you're the scientific and you're the mathematical. And I would say that my son Matt is left brain, but my son Zach is right brain. Yeah. So that's how different they are. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Even though they're both really good at math. Sure. But Zach shows more of the. Art well, no, because Matt is an artist too, so it's kind of like. Right, you see what I think. You either lean towards one side or the other. You're either one or the other. You, you, you know what I mean? Right. Well, it, well, when I first saw it on the tweet, because there was not much information other than the graphic, and says uh, this is people are having problems with it, something like that. And I thought, what is this a joke? Because <laughs> you're you're good at math. You remember math. You, yeah, it's your I, thing. It, it, I mean, anyway. some people aren't like that. You shouldn't cut that. It doesn't mean that. I, I, I wasn't trying to cut anybody down. I was just, I was, I was confused by the fact that people were confused by that. Well, because you, you're you a left brain. And you get it. It's, you could, like, okay, people that bug me, like, it doesn't bug me, but it, it, I'm jealous. Like, if you can add figures just in your head, like, my son Matt will do that. Every once in a while, he'll be like, 
Oh, <laughs> you know, what's this, this time's this? Thanks, Cowboy I'll Tech. I'll be like, fuck you. Like, I, I used to try to answer him. Now I just say, fuck you. You know what I mean? Sure. I'm like, you know I'm not good with it, Matt. You know, he just tries to, he's trying to make it point out that I suck at math and he's awesome at math. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, fuck you. Because for a while there, I'd be like trying to guess, like, be like, uh. And then after a while, I'm like, stop asking me. <laughs> you know, stop saying this. <laughs> the answer is X. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, yeah, nine is the answer, Cowboy Duck. Yeah. Nine is the correct answer to that math equation. Right. Even though I do work with numbers and I was in billing for a long time, it's like that part of it I can do. But when you come to, like, subtracting, not subtracting, yeah, it's like uh, times yeah. and fractions and pff, trigonometry, I'm just like... Well, well, that's that's like or algebra, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> right, right. That's like the simplest algebra function there. Exactly. The times function. No, the, the brackets. What was that? Yeah, because, and it would be more if, like, it was uh, 6 divided by x, and and then 1 plus x. Equals. Because x is unknown, and unless then, you make then, it yeah. known. And then, you, and then and they gave you the answer. It's 6, six that, divided I mean, by that, x plus... That whole x and y shit, like, okay, this is known... And this is unknown. I'm like, what the fuck? How can something <laughs> well, be known? Now, How can now, this uh, one be known and this one's unknown? I'm like, <sighs> if I'm not mistaken, and you use Microsoft Excel at work, right? Yes. They have a function in Excel. Yes. And or in or Open Office Calc right. uh, called Solve Four. Okay. Yep. I've seen that function. Okay. There. Well, check that function out. It, that'll help you. I will. That that'll help you get to some to some of this. Um, kind. Of, I mean. It, Right, like right now, my favorite feature on Excel is probably AutoSum. AutoSum, I love AutoSum because it just <laughs> adds everything up for you. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. And then if you take something out, it takes it out for you. Sure. Yeah. You, know, well, you don't have to do all that. You don't have to sit there and figure it out. You know yeah. what I mean? It, it works based on a yeah. range, and that range can change automatically too, but depending on how you got it set up. Exactly. So. Yeah, but you can you can set it up to do its own formula, or you can set it up. You can put your own formula in there. Right. Right. See, I'm getting better at Excel, dude. Yeah, you could do some you know? advanced math stuff in yeah. Excel or, or oh yeah, or it's open great. Office. I mean, it's great for so. a lot of things. It's, it's yeah. Excel is a good program. It's an ex excellent program. Right. All right. Well, let's play some more jams here. Let's do that. We will. And then I have some bookmark stories here that I'm going to talk about. They awesome. don't be long, but they are related to what we've been talking about already. So, yeah. Okay, Enjoy, cool. people. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. It's right. Freaky Friday full moon, harvest moon, Freaky Friday. Figures ball. The man in yeah. black. Ooh, nice, very nice. Uh, Jeff Beck with Beth Hart there. Cal Wilkinfeld on the base doing Going Down back in 2013. Whew, uh, smoking stuff. All right, before that, we had Emmy Lou Harris doing C'est La Vie. You never can tell. I think that was a Kate request. I'm not positive. It was either Kate or Moose Girl uh, because this other one was either Kate or Moose Girl, Johnny Cash doing All Fly Away. So those two requests. We're from either Kate or Moose Girl. I don't recall. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Moose Girl's got to go take a leak. You know, your timing is, is, is not the best. <laughs> but you're all right, that's fine. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, when I come off of a set here, I, I, I got to go in and set up my next set, so I... Uh, I just kind of ramble on a little bit and say things about stuff. <laughs> say things about stuff. Did you know that? Did you hear that? Saying things about stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Hello. There she is. Okay, it was Vinny's fault. I know. It's all, it always is Vinny's fault. We were talking about banjo. You know, uh, it, it's always Vinny's fault. It all, you know, 
you know, he's he's just. I, I didn't pee. Usually I pee during the break, but this time I didn't, and all of a sudden the break was done. And I'm like, oh shit, I have to pee. <laughs> dang that, Vinny! So, I know. God dang it, Vinny! Get me talking about banjo, and I'm like, and plus, Grim. Yeah. Okay, so Panda from the infamous String Dusters, he's the banjo player. Okay. Okay. Like, I uh, and I am a fan of the banjo, like. The mandolin is cool. I love the mandolin, but it has like 16 strings or something. I like a five string instrument would be way better for me. Like easier to learn. And I watched the bluegrass special, or the bluegrass documentary, like the history of bluegrass on the PBS channel. Right. Which it's all there if you guys want to watch it. It's really interesting how bluegrass started. But Besides that, the banjo is actually an instrument that came over with the slave trade from Africa. So it's not a native Amer- it's not a, a an instrument that that's native to America. It was brought here. Okay, cool. And then it got developed over time to what it is now, right? right I'm coming through your speakers again. Oh shit. Let me oh shit. <laughs> yeah, see it's a full moon. I can tell. I, I understand. I, I, it's Friday the 13th as well. So. Yeah, you know, so it's like double whammy. Whammy jammy. Anyway, anyway um, <laughs> if you're interested in bluegrass at all, watch that documentary. It's really fucking cool. Now, I I've, like I've heard, and, and I, I don't, I, I, I will not be watching it, but I've heard no. that this Sunday is, uh, no, not the bluegrass one. I, that'd be all right. All right. But this Sunday, apparently, a new Ken Burns documentary Yes. called Country, Country Music. Music. Country music yep. comes out this Sunday on PBS. I will be watching that because you know why I will be watching that, Grim? No. Because I like old time country music like Merle Haggard, Johnny Cash, Patsy Cline, Dolly Parton. I like all those old school country people. Glenn yeah. Campbell. I mean, come on. The early the, the earlier the part of the show will be better than the later part of the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you like Johnny Cash and shit, I would watch that. Just yeah. a little bit of it, just to see. Just to, because Ken Burns does very good documentaries. Like, my one of my one some of my favorite documentaries are done by this man. Vietnam, he did. Baseball, he did. Was a, the Civil War. The Civil War yeah. one by Ken Burns is, like, excellent. I'm not a real fan of the uh, Ken Burns guy. But uh, that's all right. I know a lot of people like him, so, you know. Okay, so maybe it wasn't called a banjo when it came over here from Africa on the slave boats, but it was like a gourd, a hollowed-out gourd and like a branch sticking out or something. <laughs> or it was carved out of a wood, piece of wood, and then put strings on it. So I'll look it up later, Ben, but that's according to the Bluegrass documentary I watched. I mean, that's how the banjo came to be in America. But then it developed into what it is now. Yes. Yeah. But are based on the original instrument that came over from Africa. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Anyway, I have, since we were talking about Trump a little bit and talking about war and bombing and shit like that. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know this, but earlier this week, and they've kept this pretty hush hush, hush hush, from what I can tell. Okay. And this happened, this is a story from September 11th. I don't know if it happened on September 11th, but I'm assuming it did, but I don't know that for sure. Okay. All right. Anyway, the ISIS invested island burns after U.S. carpet bombing. Satellite image shows um, smoking craters left by warplanes that dropped 40 tons. 40 tons of laser guided explosives and decimated a terrorist stronghold in northern Iraq. So they haven't been talking about this too much. It is on Daily Mail. I mean, I'm sure it's on other sites, and it was on other sites. But it, as far as being mainstream, they kept this hush-hush. What's going on? Why can't I copy and paste this? this I is, have no idea. Like, I, because it's it's blocked up. My fucking... It won't let me copy and paste the story. Okay. Weird. Really weird. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's not the story I wanted. Here it is. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> Something like that, Vinny. Who knows? You know, yeah. 
Anyway, um, All right, there you go. F-15 and F-35 stealth jets took part in bombing run against ISIS-infested island. Forty tons of explosives were dropped on Qantas Island, which sits in the T- Tigris River, Tigris River, 50 miles south of Mosul, in order to destroy hiding spots. See, you know, before this even happened, did anyone, did they, did, well, of course they're not going to say we're going to bomb these, this ISIS island, you know, ISIS infested island. They're not going to tell you that, but this happened this week, people, on 9-11, apparently. Okay. So, uh, you know, someone in the chat was saying, oh, Trump isn't a bomber like Obama was. Uh, you want to bet? Yes, of course he is. Well, it's not necessarily him, but yeah. No, not just him, but the establishment, okay? So I'm, I'm tired of the president being blamed for everything because that's just not the truth. You know, right. When you think it's the whole of government, it's the establishment. That's what they called it back in the 60s, or the man. We need to go back to calling it that. Quit calling it fucking Trump. Quit calling it Obama. Call it the establishment. Right. Because the, the president is selected a selection, not an election. Okay? And people are still thinking, well, oh, they didn't think Trump was going to win. What? No. They knew he was because they decided that at the Bilderberg meeting. Okay? That's when sure. they decide who's going to be the next president of the United States. That's when they pick their selection, right? Well, uh, yeah, that's, I think, part of it. I, I think there's, there's uh, others involved. Well, there. there's all this. There, there's, 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 the, there is, oh, go ahead, there, There's meetings involved that you will never even hear of. Right. You don't even hear about them. So all you, these you meetings hear, that take place. You hear about Bilderberg. You hear about the Project for a New American Century. The you CFR. hear about Yeah, the CFR. You hear about all these groups. But you're not hearing about the ones that are really making the actual no. choices. No. And the, people like to call this like the shadow government. It does truly exist. And I don't like that term shadow government because they're not a shadow. They well, exist. I, I prefer shadow government over deep state. Exactly. <laughs> right. I I prefer that too. Yeah. Yep. So. Because it is. There is one. It's a shadow government that, you know, it's not the people that you see that are put out in the forefront. It's the people behind the scenes. Those are the ones that are running the show. Right, the people you never you're never even going to hear their names or know their names. The, those are those are the ones. Right, and people are like, "Oh no, that's not true." It's like, <laughs> based on what? Be, why would you say that? What, what is your reasoning for saying that's not true? Have you done the research? Have you done any, anything? Or are you just going by what CNN says? Right. You know, I mean, come on. You know. Oh, here's the article. I meant to cover this at the top of the show, and I missed it. Okay. We'll, do, we'll just take care of it now. It's, a, it's on a sure. site, a site called Fox Sixty One. Dot com. Full moon to happen on Friday the thirteenth for the first time in nearly twenty years. Mm-hmm. So it says a rare harvest moon will appear in the night sky on today. Uh, the last time the United States saw a full moon on Friday the thirteenth was October thirteenth, two thousand. So uh, wow. it won't happen again until August 13th, 2049. So um, we'll be dead by then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be dead. Uh, you, you may not be. Probably. I, Hopefully I, I, I will. <laughs> I mean, I would be uh, 89 at that point. So Yeah. 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 Anyway, so according to NASA, it's called the harvest moon because it's the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox, which is the 23rd this year, which is the Monday after next. Yeah, the Monday mm-hmm. after next. Um, which is the 23rd, which is, I, I thought, I've always thought it was either the 20th or the 21st, but whatever. Um, right. So that, that's the end of summer and the start of fall. The harvest moon is said to symbolize right. when farmers would need to start gathering in food yeah. to p- prepare for the, the lean winter months. Yep. Uh, NASA says the best time to watch the full moon, watch it, <laughs> just go out there and take a look, it, uh, is uh, tomorrow. At uh, twelve thirty three a.m. Yes, Eastern time. Yes, so I agree. tomorrow, just after midnight, go out there and and well, just after midnight Eastern time, go out and, right. and look up into the sky, and you'll see 
the rarest of rare full moons. It's really pretty. I was just out there a little bit ago taking the dog out, and it's really bright. It's really pretty. It looks like perfect. It doesn't look big. It looks far away at this point because it's not a super moon. It's no. It's not, you know, it's it's a full moon, but not a super full moon. So anyway, um, going back to another subject that we were talking about earlier, which was 911. This is from the Free Thought Project. Okay. Dated September 11th, 2016. It's three years ago, but still relevant. Okay. Fifteen years later, Physics Magazine concludes all three WTC towers collapsed due to controlled demolition. Right. Um, Renowned Physics Magazine concludes, blah, blah, blah. Over the past 15, uh, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys just... I'm going to post it in there, and it, it goes along with what you're saying about the uh, AE, the Architects and Engineers right. Guild, or whatever they call themselves. <laughs> it's been proven that this was not, these buildings did not collapse because those planes hit them, okay? They collapsed because they were loaded with explosives, and it was a controlled demolition. Right. That's why some companies told their employees to stay home and don't come to work the next day. They exactly. use like, oh, they're doing construction on a building or whatever. So don't come in tomorrow. Yeah. So a bunch of people that worked in those buildings were given a heads up and told to stay home that day. What did I click the wrong thing? What does that tell you? Uh, that, that's the same That's the same link. You pasted the same link in. As you did? No, the same one you pasted before about the carpet bombing. The ISIS. No, I see. I yeah. see the satellite images shows. Cr- oh, oh, duh. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even notice that. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, that's yeah. all right. So yeah, no, I, I mean, it's, I, I, absolutely. There we go. Abs- that's fine. <sighs> yeah, it is. Wait, yeah, that's, that's oh, it. Oh, there we go. That's it. You got messed up by by Prince there. <laughs> yeah, I did. But, Thanks, okay. Prince. Yeah, oh. Thanks a lot, Prince. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, okay, here's, are you ready, are you done? Uh, sure, about? sure, why not? Okay, so here's another one that I bookmarked this week. Um, September 1st, 2019. Builders are using hemp instead of concrete, and it Good. could save the environment. Now, I don't, I'm not agreeing with this headline, but I do 90% agree with it, because I do think that hemp should be used instead of wood, a.k.a. trees. Right. Hemp creates great stuff. It is. And um, it says it's hard to imagine that cement could possibly be replaced by any other material for major construction projects. But the industry is starting to look at alternatives for a variety of different environmental and economic reasons. Uh, There's not much hemp can't do. Right. I mean, it's an amazing product. (laughs) So I'm not going to go into detail on this. But it's like I said, it's one I bookmarked this week, so I wanted to. Okay, talk no, about that's it cool. I, I, I mean, there's so many things, you know, hemp for plastics, hemp for clothing, uh, right. various stuff like that. Um, there's just hemp is is an incredible it, it, substance. It is and very incredible. You can and, use it, you know, instead of yep. uh, wood for a lot of things. Uh, right. It's super fast on regrowing. Um, it, it, it's just amazing, and um, the it fa- is. It's an amazing product. Yeah, it's the fact, beneficial for your health. The fact that it's been banned know. all these years. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fucking assault on the people of this country and of the world. Right. To have it be banned and so villainized, it's uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and so that, that's 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 been a terrible. But now it's now it's not. It's now it's okay to use. Right. Uh, yeah. Because, all of a sudden. Because some guy wrote something on a piece of paper somewhere and said. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just like they said, okay, we'll make it illegal. And, and also, you know, for fuels instead of oil, you know. Right. It's, yeah. it's a wonderful, I yeah. mean, it just, it's just it, a, it, I, said, I said it fucking 10 years ago, it could save the planet. There, there's an endless number number of things that you could use hemp for. Yes, um, I said it 10 years ago, it could save the planet. I've been saying not, that not a long to mention, time. Not to mention the CBD. Right. Know? 
Exactly. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's so awesome. So. So I don't know. I know, Graham. You're probably not a fan, but Eddie Money died. Oh yeah, I heard. He did. He, he got he his was ticket. Seventy. To, he, he got his ticket to paradise. He did. He finally cashed that in. Apparently. Apparently. So R.I.P. Eddie Money. I liked your tune. I liked your tunes. I did like that song, Two Tickets to Paradise." That was one of my favorite songs <laughs> by you. Yeah. But you had other good ones. So R.I.P. Buddy. All right. Well, check check this out here. Okay. Demon okay. baby shocks parents, and it says here hilarious ultrasound pics. Now, if I if I let me put this up on the screen for a second here, because yeah, you know yeah. I, <laughs> If, if, if I was a parent and, uh, and 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 I saw this thing staring back at me in my ultrasound, <laughs> I, I might I might have an issue with that. Um, oh my god, that's fucking <laughs> hilarious! So, and, and it says, and, 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 wait, it says here a seventeen-year-old woman. Oh, it's, well, it's a kid. Right, she's, uh, she's a woman. If she's had her period, she's a woman. All right, whatever. In Virginia, who went to her ultrasound wow. appointment hoping to learn the sex of her unborn baby, That's was funny. shocked when the technician caught her da- daughter seemingly staring back at them. That's so funny. Like a demon. No. Doesn't even look like a demon. I'd be like, oh look, the the head is against my belly. Yeah, I, 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 you can't see my cursor over there. It's all right. Anyway, it looks like a demon to no. me, uh, or it could be. You know, it's what? not. No. <laughs> anyway, so uh, apparently, no, that's a baby. It's a regular baby, um, not she, a demon. She she shared <laughs> she shared the amusing photos of her yes, daughter it is amusing. on it Facebook. Funny. Um, it says, uh, she was looking normal when we found out she was a girl. They put it back right. on the face, and 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 her her a double dash maybe her ass opened. I don't know. I, I don't know what that was. That says I. She says I love this devil baby. You're already putting that label on your kid, dude. I wouldn't even be putting that out there. I'd be like, I love, that was going, I, I, that love I love this devil baby. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. I would not say, I would not have said that. <laughs> be careful what you ask for. Oh, man. <laughs> so, so wow. yeah, I, I, I think... Um, uh, demon baby. For one thing, you already called your kid a, de- a devil. Right, baby. devil baby, devil what child. The fuck, woman, you're are you really ready to be a mom? Okay, okay. The, no. If the ultrasound picture scares you, you're not ready to be a mom because oh. there's gonna be all this kind of shit you gonna deal with. Like in real life, the, you know, ah, lady, I don't know, dude. I hope the best for her. Well, she's seven. She's <laughs> seven. She's seventeen. You got to give her a little break. Right, she's seventeen. There you go. All right. Anyway, so have you ever seen the uh, the photo of the two skeletons? Buried together, it looks like they're holding hands. And they, they always thought, oh, these, these, yes. these this is beautiful. Yes, I have these, seen that. These, these two lovers died together. They knew they were gonna die. Yep, that's everything. Yep. Turns out, famed skeletons of lovers in Modena were both dudes. <laughs> Okay, well that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. That's perfectly fine. It's just, fine. Uh, scientists have revealed that a pair of hand-holding skeletons, whose gesture of love has been preserved in mud for fifteen hundred years, they could have been son, bro- father and son. Were both male. They, 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 they could have been. They, they could have been, but that's not how it has been depicted all this time. I am small. I suppose. A, a new DNA test helped researchers determine the sex of the remains dubbed lovers in Modena. The particular sex de- determination technique to use protein for both tooth enamel uh, was not available when the fossils were unearthed at the site in uh, Necropolis, Agent Necropolis, 2009. Uh, researchers at the University of Bologna, Bologna, Bologna uh, in Italy uh, can now only speculate on how these two men were connected, perhaps as relatives or fellow soldiers, According to this study, appearing in Nature Scientific Reports, uh, when the news first broke of the so-called lovers, excavation Donato Labate told Discovery in 2011, we believe they were originally buried with their faces staring into each other. 
At the time, archaeologists assumed the two were a man and woman. The set of bones were thought to be female. Uh, what is he? A female who was found wearing a bronze ring seemed locked in a centuries-long gaze with its partner. <laughs> so anyway, and, and I, what I find funniest of all out of any of this is that the, uh, the headline of the article, they call them dudes. Yeah. They, dudes. Dudes, yeah, D dudes. D these two are dudes. <laughs> dudes. <laughs> dudes. <laughs> New York Post. <laughs> dudes. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> all right, then. It, you can't make this shit up. You no, you really can't. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, speaking of corpses and such. Yes. Again, from the New York Post, and uh, so uh, apparently this is true, and just in time for Halloween, sort of more or less. Sweet. <laughs> Corpses move for more than a year after their death. Oh, God. <laughs> I saw you posted that in the chat earlier. I'm like, I'm not even clicking on that. Like, I better not be cremated. When the, when the coffins are rocking, don't come a knocking. <laughs> oh my God! Is that really in there? <laughs> that is in there. That's the oh, first line of the article. Jimmy Reed Vaughn song. Uh, well, it's, off on it. it's, it's yeah, it's a coffin though. Anyway, long yeah. after rigor mortis has set it, long after rigor mortis has set in, human corpses actually move their bodies significantly, according to a forensic researcher. That's muscle re reflexes. Allison Wilson. Um, Wilson revealed that this disturbing fact after the time lapse camera. Uh, to ca using a time lapse camera to capture decomposition process of a donor body at the Australian facility for taphonomic experimental research. Um, the so-called body farm, currently home to 70 dead bodies where she works, was founded to help forensic scientists learn more about decomposition process in order to aid crime scene investigations. One body she observed was buried with its arm close to its side, yet what were later found opened away from the sides. What we found was that the arm significantly moving so that the arm so that arms that started off down beside the body ended up out to the side of the body. Uh, she thought she'd find some movement in the early de decomposition process, but was not expecting to see it seventeen months into filming. So <laughs> whatever, man. Uh, oh. Uh, dead bodies doing a little death dance or something, you know? <laughs> no, it's muscle reflexes. Well, uh, 17 months later? Yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> that's a while. I wouldn't think it would be that long, but... Yeah, yeah. So. You no, know, I mean, I think the muscles can move or whatever and like they say it's it's the process of decomposition so your body's breaking down like basically from the inside and so like if your ribs like collapse make your arm you know what I mean yeah yeah I, I don't know interesting though yeah, yeah. alright let's play some more music um, yeah let's do that we'll be back and... hopefully I, I, I don't have to pee so well, now, but you know, at the now, end of but, you know, at the end of the set, you just might have to. Oh, uh, I'll be good. I'll be. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enjoy, people. Thank you very much. All right, Brian Setta. Oh yeah, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff there. Believe it or not, that was a Hansel request. Pink Floyd, welcome to the machine. Before that, we had Jimi Hendrix, hear my train of coming. Uh, more amazing stuff. And he kicked it off with the Brian Sester Orchestra doing a Jump, Jive, and Wail. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very nice, very nice. All, all across the board there. Once again, don't you agree, Miss Moose? Miss Moose? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> I'm here. Hang on, let me change back to the headset. All right, all right. All right, there we go. Cool. Yeah, cool. So, 
yeah. Um, just talking to a friend of mine last night, and he's one of these people that still believes in government, and had a pretty good conversation with them about government. Okay. At one point he goes, that's a very libertarian point of view, and I'm like, dude, I'm, a, I'm above libertarianism. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm an anarchist, you know, like, oh, well, you got to have some kind of government. I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't need no babysitter. You got to, you got to have it. what's right or wrong. And I don't need anyone telling me what to do or not do with my body. Well, yeah. Like, if I want to fucking store huge lines of cocaine, I should be, if I want to shoot up heroin, if I want to have an abortion, it's none of your fucking business, dude. Uh, you, you can never argue with the statists. They, they, they just no, but you can't. When they when they believe in the system, still, it's really tough. You know. Yeah, but, they're, they're not going to get it. I mean, there's there's no. no way for you to convince them. You know, uh, right? That, that 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 somehow that people that that you won't have total chaos. Uh, right. With, without a bunch of jackboots beating down your damn door. Well, and he did make the argument. He's like, well. Anarchy, that's not the answer. I'm like, anarchy, the, the the people, the way people think about anarchy is not correct. Right. What anarchy means is no leaders. There's still quote-unquote rules, but there's no leaders. Like, I don't need anyone telling me shit, you know what I mean? If, I, if I'm not hurting somebody or stealing from somebody, you know, or encroaching on them in any way, then I'm, I should be okay, you know? Yeah. It's like, I don't need a babysitter. I don't need, you know, this whole, well, I'm like, anarchy, the term anarchy has been given such a bad rap. Like, people think it's going to be chaos and people running around murdering everybody. You know what I said to that? Or, you know, what I, I, you know, I, I followed up with, what do we have now? People are running around murdering people. We got the jackbooted thugs running around murdering people. You know, it's we, what we have now. To me, is the bad, bad um, definition of our anarchy. Sure. Because basically, we have anarchy right now. We have chaos right now. If we didn't have government, we got rid of this fucking babysitter, the goddamn sky, or wherever the fuck they are up there in fucking. De- the, uh, the district of criminals. You know, we'd be better off, dude. We can we have proven <laughs> the American people have proven many times. Cowboy Tech can name that song in one note. That you can <laughs> Wow, that's a good one, Cowboy Tech. you you got a good ear. Um We don't need these goddamn babysitters. We don't need these usurpers. We don't need these fucking people that just want to take money from you and tax the fuck out of you. And I also said, people that think the government cares about them are mistaken. Because government does not care about you. For one thing, government can't care about you because government is a thing. Government is not a person. Government's never going to give a fuck about you. Right. To the government, people are just fucking pawns, and they're fucking Ponzi scheme. You know, it's it's like, oh well, we keep fooling them. Let's keep fooling them. You know, but they've been beating us down for, as a whole, right? Right. Beating us down, thinking that we can't fight back. That this is the way it is, whether or not you like it or not. Sure. You know, and people are like, okay. It's like, what kind of fucking attitude is that? Well, let me let me see. Maybe maybe this article that I have will tie in a little. Let's just, I just want to say one more thing, right? All right. What you need, what some people need to do, is see the movie The Patriot, and also watch the movie Braveheart. And yes, I know Mel Gibson is a star of both of those movies, but maybe you'll fucking learn something. Watch Gone with the Wind for Christ's sake. I mean, do your do your own fucking research. Don't go. Oh, I watch CNN, so I'm informed. Don't fool yourself in thinking that just because you watch some news station or whatever that you're informed and you've done research and you know the history of how we got to this place. Unless you can fucking tell me some of the history of how we got to this point, you're shit. You're bullshit, dude. You yeah. don't know shit. 
you're making assumptions, and you're eating up what the mainstream media tells you. Absolutely. Do your own fucking research, and then get back to me. Yeah. Don't sit there and act like you know what the fuck you know about, and, you know, blah, 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 and your source is whatever. Exactly. The mainstream media. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Well, this does okay. tie into that. This does tie into that, and it's not actually okay. an article. It's a patent. Okay. Nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors. <laughs> See, right. I, I saw something somewhere. I think it must have been on Twitter. I'm not sure. Um, about, about this patent, and, and it had a link to the patent. Because it said, Google this. And it says, oh, you don't have to Google it. Here's a link. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, so here it is. Physiologic, physiological effects have been observed in a human subject in response to the stimulation of the skin with weak electromagnetic fields that are pulsed with certain frequencies near a half hertz or 2.4 hertz, such as to excite sensory resonance. Many computer monitors and TV tubes, when displaying pulsed images, emit pulsed electromagnetic fields of sufficient amplitudes to cause such excitation. It is therefore possible to manipulate the nervous system of a subject by pulsing images displayed on a nearby computer monitor or TV set. For the latter, the image pulsing may be embedded in the program material, program material, or it may be overlaid by modulating a video stream, either as an RF signal or as a video signal. The image displayed on the computer monitor may be pulsed effectively by a simple computer program. For certain monitors, pulsed electromagnetic fields capable of exciting sensory resonances in nearby subjects may be generated even as the displayed images are pulsed with subliminal intensity. Let me just say this. There's more to this, but uh, let me just say this. 9-11. People were glued to their televisions for hours on end, watching basically the same images over and over again. They were being manipulated in this manner through those images. They were being brainwashed to think that whatever they were being told by the morons on the, on the thing there was the truth. That's why you have so many people that still think that 9-11 happened exactly the way they were told. They have been brainwashed, there's no better word for it, uh, by, by the signals coming out of their television, or whatever, however they were watching it. And this is going on still, of course, probably much wider today than it was then. Uh, this, this is diabolical uh, a method, yeah. method of brainwashing. And... Um, now you see everybody all glued to their little screens, right? Watching just intently, doing whatever it is. Well, yeah. Okay. Now here's a just a little quick summary here. Computer monitors and TV monitors can be made to emit low frequency electromagnetic fields merely by pulsing the intensity of displayed images. Experiments have shown that the half hertz, half hertz sensory resonance can be excited in this manner in a subject near the monitor. And how close are people holding those little screens to their face? Uh, oh, very a close. A few very, inches, very right? Close. Maybe a foot. Uh, the, the two oh, point, God, it's closer than that. The, the, the 2.4 hertz sensory resonance can also be excited in this fashion. Hence, a TV monitor, TV or computer monitor, can be used to manipulate the nervous system of yeah. nearby people. The implementations of the invention are adapted to the source of video stream that drives the monitor. It can be a computer program, a TV broadcast, a videotape, oh, yeah. or a DVD. Right. Now, there's a whole lot more in this patent here. And I said this is a patent by the U.S. government um, here that <laughs> the, the, the programming, programming, uh, yeah, they call it programming for a reason. You're freaking a right. Uh, anyway, we're we're out of time. So I got to do the last we show are. here. Uh, but but there's the link here. The patents Google. Um, 
US six five zero six one four B two. Wow! It, it, it's they they don't even wow, try dude. try to deny it. Well, we knew this was coming. I mean, I'm not surprised. Sadly, I'm not surprised. Well, yeah, like I said, that 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 patent is is two thousand. Year two thousand, so right. Uh, this wow! Has been, this wow! Is, this, Nineteen years ago. Yeah, this has been going on. All right. So uh, anyway, what, what was uh, this particular moon called? The uh, Harvest Moon. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. It's, but it's on Friday the thirteenth, so that makes it extraordinary in on some level, apparently. But to me, thirteen is not an unlucky number. I mean, I'm I'm a thirteenth person. Like I'm a thirteen person. Okay. Yay! Yeah, you Yeah, that's a swinging version of Black Betty there by the Lost Fingers. Uh, before that, um, uh, Kate requested this uh, earlier today as uh, actually a, a re-request of a song that I had already requested prior, but she uh, mentioned and reminded uh, me that uh, this particular track uh, or uh, other songs with Tina, Joe Bonamassa, and Tina Guo, um, this was called Woke Up Dreaming, live at the Carnegie Hall on Acoustic Evening. Uh, I.B. Don T. really enjoyed uh, the videos with uh, Joe and Tina in them. So uh, there you go, Ray. Look at that up, up there in the sky, buddy. Uh, all right, before that, <sighs> before that, a cowboy tech request, Jim Stafford and a Wildwood Weed. And we kicked it off there with Neil Young doing Harvest Moon for this Harvest Moon Friday. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So. Um. So sorry about... Don it sucks. Uh, it does suck, but you know he um, he's off somewhere now, cruising yep. the yep. interdimensional. Your body is just your vessel for your soul. Cru- cruising the interdimensional planes and having a good old time out there. Yep. And uh, feel sorry for his family. Me his, too. His wife especially, but yes. you know the kids. I know they're all grown, but still. Yep. But still, know, it's a hard one. It's definitely, definitely hard. So, yeah, we're all headed there, man. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, uh, big time. And that's, you know, to me, this whole thing has been, it reminded me, don't take any, don't take one day for granted. Live life to its fullest each day, because you just never fucking know. That's right. What's going to happen sometimes, you know? Yeah. So, anyway, anyway, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Have an awesome weekend. Absolutely. Now, I don't, are, are you going to do a dark table tomorrow? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so we maybe, maybe have a dark table tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it, you know, I'm set up to, ready to go to broadcast, so. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's a possibility. Sure. Uh, and, and, uh, and, um, uh, either way, Sunday I'll be on at noon Eastern. Uh, with the blues there at uh, noon. Uh, so check right. it out. We'll be playing the trivia here in the chat. Come on over, listen in, have a good time. Uh, yeah. I'm followed up immediately by Hal Anthony, 3 p.m. Eastern, noon o'clock Pacific, behind uh, the woodshed, opening up that big old can of whoop ass. And then I'll be back on again on Monday night at, or Monday evening, I guess, 7 p.m. Eastern with Grandma Leftovers, giving you all them taste, all that tasty leftovers that we didn't get to during this show. And then, uh, Thursday night is Princeton Prince and Poopsters Power Hour. Once again, 11 p.m. Eastern. Check it out. Good stuff. And um, we'll be back Friday again. And also, Vinny will be back Friday. So, uh, and next Friday is the 20th. Yeah, yeah. All right. All have right. A, so, have a good weekend, everyone. Yeah, have a great weekend. Great week. Uh, enjoy the full moon and peace. Peace.